Hello. Hello, yes, uh, are Yes, you awake? Emmanuel. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm afraid the internet might okay. be slow, maybe. Yes. Okay, close close your uh, close your uh... uh -huh. who's who's managing the meeting? I am. Okay, so uh, did they uh, uh, can we uh, can you give us a brief? What? Um, it's a close your mic. Close your mic. I need to put yourself in a mute. Hello? No, I think uh, I can mute their voices, but um, thank you, Dr. Dr. Duna for uh, joining us. And I think uh, the, the invitees don't know uh, who is Dr. Dunya. Would you please introduce yourself to our invitees? Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Dunya. I'm uh, a co-founder with NCS with Dr. Mohamed Bohaji and uh, the proposed uh, VC for uh, CS once it's operated as an academic institution. Thank you so much, Dr. Dunya. And so we, as we are waiting for uh, Dr. Mushimima uh, for, to take over the meeting, and um, I think uh, Dr. James uh, would tell us more about a uh, about him, what he does, and uh, why uh, you wish to, to, you know, to collaborate with the, with the uh, CS institution. And uh, for any further question you would like to know about us, uh, we are here to respond to you as well. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Once again, I appreciate all of you uh, for making it to this meeting. Uh, uh, we met with Dr. Emmanuel, I think recently. Uh, I and the CEO who is with us in this meeting, we were in Kigali, uh, in commemorating that year since genocide. And um, we were kind of running a mental health program around Kigali for a week. And then on my way back at the airport, we happened to meet with Dr. Emmanuel and we had uh, a very candid conversation uh, around the issues to do with the uh, you know, with mental health in Rwanda, again, comparing that with the present statistic. Uh, and because as our job here in Nairobi, I just came back in Kenya wondering what we can do with your institutes uh, to make sure we can also have such kind of programs running there. And we can also boost people's well-being, also generally in Rwanda and in Kigali. And uh, Dr. Imano just suggested probably we should have a uh, a round table meeting like this one we have this afternoon. Uh, we get to brainstorm and see the areas of collaboration between uh, my, my, my my office and your institution. And again, I asked my CEO who is with us here, uh, Moffat Kago, uh, to be part of this meeting so that we can have a very clear conversation. In our thinking, uh, when we were thinking about partnership and partnering with your institutes uh, in promoting mental health generally in Kigali and in Rwanda amid this very harsh economic crisis that we are all going through at this moment. We thought uh, we could probably come with some short courses and some other programs at your institute that could be very much helpful to your students and also even to those who want to advance their studies in the area you know, of psychosocial studies. And um, when I mentioned that to Dr. Emmanuel, he was like, we should have a meeting and see whether there is a possibility of doing that. 
or not. Otherwise, because I have my CEO here, I would like him to say hi and probably explain to you some of the areas that we can closely uh, work together. Please, Moffat, you can say a word. Okay. Um, once again, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you. Wow, it is indeed a pleasure uh, seeing you around. I, James told me about uh, some conversation that you that you had on our way back to Nairobi from Kigali in the month of May. And um, we, uh, let me say that this, first of all, is very encouraging to me, even the whole idea of us meeting together this afternoon to discuss such a possibility. Um, we, James and I, and of course, a number of other professionals are professional psychologists, counselors, some of us are marriage and family therapists. We have clinical psychologists. And um, when we visited Rwanda in the month of May, um, we were actually asking ourselves, James and I, how are we able to extend our wings uh, to be able to come up with uh, something that can be of help? Uh, to beneficiaries in uh, Kigali, Rwanda. And uh, when uh, James told me that he has had a conversation with one of you, then we thought that uh, maybe we could take it higher. And uh, from where we sit, we were thinking uh, maybe there's a way we could um, uh, design a curriculum for you um, so that we can I, I, I'm not sure what your institute offers. I don't know whether it already has uh, psychology and counseling related courses. Um, but we were thinking maybe this is uh, something we could introduce because uh, when we were asking around and we could be wrong, we, we realized and, and, and we stand to be corrected. We realized that uh, you know, we never saw a single institution that is offering uh, counseling and psychology in, in, in Rwanda. And we thought maybe we, probably we did not have enough time to, to look around, uh, but the little area that we covered or the few people we, we asked, they indicated that, um, you know, they are, there, there, there are no people, there are no, there is no institution that, that trains in the area of uh, mental health. And we thought we could come up with a, maybe partner with you and come up with a curriculum that is able to, uh, you know, take in students. We could start uh, probably uh, offering uh, human resources in terms of uh, training because we are well equipped in that area. We were thinking of how we could collaborate and probably carry out some workshops and the conferences in Kigali, Rwanda, on matters uh, mental health. Um, and uh, we were thinking probably your institution um, might become the trailblazer in, in terms of um, running with this, this particular program. So there is much more that we can do. We can uh, collaborate in, um, you know, empowering or introducing some of these uh, courses in Kigali, Rwanda. And uh, we could even, you know, start by doing virtual, virtual trainings. So I think from where I see it, uh, th th this is what I'm thinking. We could as well uh, be of great help to, other institutions around uh, you know Kigali, whereby we can introduce the whole subject of mental health in a in a much more um, robust manner, because um, when we came to Kigali to 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 hold our conference about trauma, 
we were calling it uh, a trauma healing conference and we took it to Kigali deliberately. And we had close to a hundred uh, people from Kenya um, who are basically professionals. And, and, and we realized, we, we felt like there's a gap in as much as uh, uh, Rwanda is a very unique um, country, there's a lot that we are able to learn from it. But again, considering the the history of of Kigali, we we, we thought that if there was a way we are able to 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 to, to get some partners and people that we can uh, jointly begin to run some of these uh, courses, then we would be uh, very helpful to the population of of Kigali, Rwanda. We were thinking of how we could even train counselors uh, who can as well, because of uh, the virtue of a well, being well um, accustomed to the culture of the country. And for the sake of sustainability, um, we, we could train local people who can also be able to help others. Uh, so basically from my, my end, that is um, what I'm thinking. I would be glad to hear uh, what uh, your institution offers. I can see it is socio. I don't know whether I have seen read your logo well, socioeconomic something. Uh, basically, if we could be able to um, to tap into what uh, we carry from this end, we are able to 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 work together and and see how far we are able to go. So thank you. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Moffat. And uh, yes, it is Social Economic Institute for Advanced Studies. And thank you so much. I think I'll give the floor to Dr. Buheji, and he will tell you more about uh, how, uh, who are we are, and then uh, we can get to know, you know, more about and catch up later. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh... Dr. James and uh, Dr. Moffat, and uh, my uh, I I extend my thanks, of course, to my colleague uh, Dr. Emmanuel for giving us this opportunity to to come together. I believe it's very important move, even for CS, not only for uh, for your institute in Kenya, that we collaborate together because uh, we are we are, we brought the concept of inspiration economy. And uh, Inspiration Economy is a collection of uh, both uh, socio-economic uh, development issues and economics and psychology. So psychology and social sciences, of course, in general, social studies and so on, community development. But psychology plays a major part in, in uh, Inspiration Economy. Uh, if you Google my name, Buheji, B-U-H-E-J-I, you'll see maybe about 50% of whatever I publish is related to psychology directly or indirectly. Even though I'm not a psychologist, I'm a bioengineer. And uh, then I became economist and knowledge economy in the beginning. And then I brought this concept of inspiration economy. And the other concept that we have under CS, Socioeconomic Institute for Advanced Studies, is uh, because we have a different concept, but all of them, they, they, at the end of the day, they, they clip with the uh, socio-economy psychology, socio-economy psychology, but they have different concepts in, in solving problems, is a resilience economy. So what you were talking about is more of uh, under resilience economy, which we also, we have a master program, by the way, in that, and we have already PhD program, but we did not apply it for accreditation. We are apply, we have applied for accreditation for even an inspiration economy for master and PhD. But the process, as you know, takes a long time. Now we've been waiting since about more than 18 months, and hopefully we, I mean, we see the result, may, I hope, within the next six months, hopefully. But we've been waiting as an institute as for accreditation. That's very important for us. Now we are growing up, and this is maybe today I was going to talk to our staff. We have limited number of staff. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to increase till we see we are going to, you know, towards academic or not. But with partners like you, which is I've been uh, saying always, you are for us international partner and experts also, which is add value. And by the way, we have many MOUs with psychology, psychology uh, institutes uh, in, 
in here in Africa or in India or different regions, even part of our MOUs that we signed all over the years. We started since 2015, by the way, outside Rwanda in 2022, end of 22, we came to Rwanda and we established our institute here. This is part of a big projects that we are distributing all over the world, the concept of inspiration economy, resilience economy, uh, youth economy, uh, aging economy, uh, and the future foresight economy. These are all economies, but all of them, they approach different issues. Um, and it will be very interesting because you are this, this is your speciality. And now I bring with me always collaborators like you to publish papers relevant to COVID and so on. And we have big, uh, you know, I mean, large books uh, that is about 60 papers per book that was published during COVID. We have two books on that. Uh, and mostly it was about psychology and mostly about mental health and about these things that's coming up. And it is challenging because you see now, for example, uh, Dr. Moffat, we're doing a study about NEET. Okay. I know, I don't know if you know about NEET, not an employment, not an education, not any training. And uh, this type of youth. And we're not talking, by the way, only for Rwanda. We're in Rwanda and we're trying to serve Rwanda, yes, now, because we're just starting. But our goal is to spread all over Africa. And actually, uh, Dr. Emmanuel with us now in a team that we want to establish our base in uh, another any also, you know, uh, center in Mali. Especially now, Mali, you know, they're shifting from French to English. And they want, want to, you know, they're uh, Rwanda. So also we're collaborating with our training. And we are spread all over the your partner, inshallah. I believe you'll be a strong partner because I know. I know Kenya, I visited Kenya ago, but I know that Kenya is well developed and. Uh, Uh, we have, for example, Africa Development Lab. Also, we can do under it lots of things, which is uh, Dr. Emmanuel. Uh, workshops, okay, which should be either, you know, free of uh, for awareness through Zoom or when you come here to Kigali, or should be by paid, which we share, you know, 50-50, whether in the cost or in the loss. I believe we can do that. And I believe that, as you said, now maybe I'm, again, maybe Emmanuel corrected us and he's the most expert in this area. I I, say, I myself also didn't see major institutes around Kigali with the with the name of psychology and so on. But I know there is counseling here. Uh, That's what I know. But it is not that strong, not as developed as Kenya. Kenya, as I told you, very far in between Kigali, in education even, in between Rwanda, still in education, even though they show they are strong, you know, the higher education concept, but Kenya is highly, uh, you know, developed in education since even my time, because I used to train inside the universities for WHO and so on. And they have also a different speciality. Even if it's global, it's that strong. Emmanuel will correct for us, but uh, it is not strong, for sure. Here they have lots of problems with the divorce, with health. health. What is the uh, there is a new generation that they, they never, we, at least we have two now from them. They didn't go through this issue of genocide clearly or didn't see it at least. But uh, there's other things. The people are depressed because of inflation, because of challenges of life, because of low income, uh, and because of uh, stress of, you know, uh, to meet, meet the demand of transport, of family relations, and so on. There are lots of topics here that is uh, of interest. And maybe if you see, you know, we do a, a, a free week, we do either a dialogue or a workshop.
but they are still free. The truth for it. If we, and we have to plan it ahead of time. That's what for a workshop. But I believe it can be successful. It can be uh, maybe in the beginning challenging. We might not get as much as we want. But we, I think uh, many people, Africans, if we, you know, I mean, announce it properly and put it in everywhere and we take the right title, then I'm sure it will, will attract for us, uh, uh, you know, people to come to Rwanda. But in the same time, also, I want to see it from a different perspective. And I want to see that, no, we send people to you also who will have, uh, will, we are planning to have this practice visit. Okay. And uh, this is what Emmanuel is challenging now on. Because now this institute, I am the founder, but I want it to be separated from me as much as it can over the next few years. If it stays in uh, Higali sustainable, this is the right thing because this is inspiration economy. It's about sustainability. So best practice business is one of the income. Consultancy is one of the income. And I think you are the best partner to do that. Whether they come, for example, when you have people coming to us, from different disciplines and so on, uh, where they can go through uh, Kenya, you know, to Nairobi, to attend with you a workshop or something, and then they go back home, uh, you know, their way and so on. We can arrange that. Or the vice versa, if we see that there's a group, and this is what I'm going to tell you now, in uh, January, we are planning now our first forum. Now we did 17 forums around the world, okay? But uh, now this is our first forum in, uh, since we established CS, uh, which is we operated officially in uh, April 2023. So uh, now it's about 18 months. Uh, we didn't do any forum. We tried to do it last year, but I found that we are not ready. We were waiting for accreditation also that time. Uh, but now we are more ready. We feel now we'll do it. Uh, we, are, we have to do it, you know, uh, because many people is asking. Uh, we have many followers from, you know, from north to east, from, you know, east, west, from different countries. We might have Americans coming, you know, Bosnians, uh, Europeans uh, from France, from like this. We'll have few of Europeans, but we have, you know, even the, our, uh, you know, our counseling board have members of, and they usually, some of them come at 10 from Moscow, from different countries. And of course, from the Arab countries, whether from Egypt, from, you know, uh, Gulf, Arab, Arab Gulf countries and so on. And of course, we are targeting even Africans. So the forum will be in January, hopefully. And this forum, it might be interesting to have one day workshop, okay, that you can do for that uh, thing, okay, which will be again part of the of the forum payment or something. We'll we'll discuss about that more in more detail, maybe Dr. Dunya, because she's the one who's taking care of the forum planning and so on. But it will be a great idea because the forum will be about resilience, and because it is Rwanda, and because it is our first, uh, you know, forum in Rwanda. I think Rwanda now has built its name over time that it is a. a a country that's targeting to be a role model for resilience, which the whole world needs. And most probably it will be resilience in conflict times or like this, something like this, a crisis time, conflict time. Also, the title is not final, but uh, already now we check with the hotels. It most probably it will be in Redison Hotel, you know, the blue, Redison Blue Hotel, main one here. And uh, it will be for about five days. Now, it will be interesting also to see what the possibilities of doing this uh, something in Nairobi, if you can arrange for us. So far, and we were thinking to come through Turkey to bring all this group. Usually, we collect them in one point before they come to uh, the final point. So it might be the, the collection point might be Nairobi because it's easier, okay, than going to Turkey and so on. Because unfortunately, you know, the, from Bahrain or from many countries, there is no direct flight to, to Kigali, number one. Number two, uh, it is better sometimes for us. And we also, uh, we have tried to go through Addis Ababa before. And uh, I think people would like it to go through Nairobi if it is. If there is people like you who can arrange for us a package for a few days and so on. Uh, if there is a feasibility of this package, we can see it. And because usually these people, they will stay in five-star hotel. They expect, you know, but they expect also competitive prices because we need to attract people. These people, uh, Dr. Moffat, they are not normal people. They are not, uh, not uh, tourists. They are coming for to contribute and to learn. And most probably they'll be retired professors or maybe they are already, you know, train, uh, trainers, you know, popular trainers or maybe. And so they come from different levels. And, and there is a group, youth, 
group that usually come either because they are our youth, okay, and sometimes we sponsor them, by the way, or they will come because their families is coming, they will come with their families because our history, many people who come with us, they get inspired. And you know, you know it's a forum, it's not a, it's not a conference. Uh, forum means that half day only, they'll sit for three, four hours. The rest of the day, they'll go around and they, they try to see something relevant to the concept. And the most important thing, always I say, it is in a bus. Okay, so there's something also extra, maybe challenging for, for both of us as partners, hopefully. If we can do that, it will be great. If not, then we will meet in here in, uh, in uh, Kigali, hopefully. And you will be, inshallah, uh, I'm sure you can uh, deliver something unique and relevant to these concepts and so on. I don't know. This is my uh, my uh, my take on into it. Uh, I don't know, Doctor. Do you want to comment before we give it back to Emmanuel? No, no. I think you've covered uh, the main things, mm -hmm. and uh, either we we can I and mean, we will see the about the forum if we can do it, and even for us as a visit, me and Doctor Muhammad also, we can arrange for this. But after we see a good. Uh, working agenda and things that we can do. We don't visit the country for the country. We visit the country for the people who we can work with. Yeah, and we are. Into, see, our, we have three angles in our business model, uh, Doctor Moffat, Moffat and James. Dr. James, we have the research and development. We have the projects, which is very very important part because this is the bring for us research and development, and we have the partnership that comes through also academic programs and so on. That we are trying to do. So these are three angles. So projects is part of, and Dr. Dini, what she's trying to do. The reason we cancelled our visit to Kenya because we couldn't see, uh, let's say, something that's worth to visit. Usually, we have to, you know, five points or ten points that we go, we collect them together. I mean, visiting different entities or different, uh, or make lecture and so on. So maybe inshallah, when we sign a MOU with you, because we don't have a, you know, semi-academic or academic or yeah, any specialists like you experts uh, signed with us. We have NGOs. I think we have two NGOs, right? Uh, am I right? We have two NGOs, Bonnie, that we signed with, right? Yes. In Rwanda. Yeah. Uh, sorry, in, in Kenya. Yes. But we don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. But we don't have uh, experts like you and so. On. So this is also something open. Anywhere, as you can see, we have many areas we can collaborate in. I, I agree with you. Whatever you said, yeah, generally. Okay, it's uh, now the, I think if I may, I can ask Dr. Emmanuel to comment. Uh, as far as uh, CS uh, is concerned, uh, I tried to explain to Dr. James about our programs. So we recruited met in the plane going to Kenya last May. And uh, I was going by the time, by, by the time to uh, to the conference uh, on mental health problems uh, with Kenyan academia uh, happened in Kitui, Eastern Kenya, Southeastern Kenya. Yeah, in Kitui, it was a successful meeting. I was representing. Uh, which are academic of South Minst, uh, Armunai, Rwanda, uh, for which I'm president, but also representing CS as the director of Africa and Development Lab. So uh, we meet with James and uh, we talked about uh, experience of uh, mental health situation in Rwanda. So he gave intention of establishing uh, probably a therapeutic office uh, in Kigali, in which people can visit and have therapy. And I say I will link you with uh, our founder, Dr. Buhedi, uh, so that you can network and probably that office, therapeutic office, even can start at CIAS and see how we can include the... Uh, Okay. So, uh, yeah, we can we can proceed uh, as I said.
did we yes Himself. yes i'm on in a meeting okay good so uh as we said uh, we can uh, continue uh, from now i was explaining how we met and how the idea of operating uh, existed and uh, I wish uh, I have no objection with the areas of cooperation that uh, Dr. Mushauri have mentioned. Uh, I think we can proceed with that, uh, but uh, probably we open up an MOU. Yeah, if possible, I may come back to Nairobi uh, soonest uh, for maybe one or two days. And uh, I, I will probably uh, be able to come to your institute and uh, office and maybe uh, uh, some framework of activities. Uh, yeah. So uh, probably mid September will be uh, coming to Nairobi. You can arrange that to sign MOU, highlighting those areas of cooperation like uh, uh, Dr. Mshauri have mentioned, and then we can start up with that. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think uh, these are the key points I wanted to highlight. Otherwise, uh, you welcome the cooperation between CS and the Kenyan Psychological Association. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Emmanuel. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, we appreciate the fact that uh, we are all now looking forward to work together you know, and listening to the founder of CIAS Institute talking and then listening to you, I can honestly tell you there is a lot we can do together. And again, I also like the point of your founder when he said we don't just visit, visit places for the sake of visiting. We visit places when we are going to do something for those people. And that's why you are coming to Kenya to do something here. And then I was in Kigali also doing something for the people of Rwanda. And therefore, as he's trying to craft the theme of this year forum, you know, resilience, that was also our theme in Kigali. We were looking at the trauma resilience to the people who have undergone a lot of crisis. You know, Rwanda has its own unique history. And when I heard your father mentioning about uh, resilience, I think to me and uh, Moffat, as psychologists, we are just thinking how best we can make a powerful presentation uh, on that area of being resilient amidst harsh crime, uh, economic crisis, you know, resilient. And, uh, and so many other things. I think for us, we are open and we are waiting for that. Unless, uh, uh, you know, you, 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 you have something that you want us to do to make your work better in Kenya and in Nairobi. We are willing. Coming September, we are also very ready to have you here for those two days. Uh, I think on my case, I am more than prepared to host you. Sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, maybe half, uh, half an hour, not two days. I will be also doing other small business. Oh, okay. I just mean uh, when you are out here, we will be able to catch up briefly. Right. Yeah. All right. Mm. Good. So, uh, yeah. So uh, that is it. And uh, I think, uh, did you have any paper about trauma resilience in Rwanda so that you can pass it through? And, or you didn't write it again uh, yet? Please let me know. James? Sorry, I was communicating with uh, Mushawili. <laughs> Moffat okay. needs to, to be part of this meeting as we conclude. Yeah. Uh, is he coming? Yes, he's joining. I think he had the wrong link. Now I think he's, he's joining us. Okay, great. Um, I was asking whether you have any publication uh, with your, your research program in Rwanda on trauma resilience. Did you have oh, yeah. any? Yes, we are preparing the final document. And once it is ready, I'll be glad to share with you, Dr. Emmanuel. 
Oh, that's great. So it is better we see it of so and see. We have a number of obligations and we want uh, CS to, to be really grounded uh, on the entire East Africa. And probably that is why our founder was interested there. So in working with Kenya and later on Tanzania and Brun. So we want uh, CS to be really grounded in, uh, in the entire East Africa. And as you know, East Africa is uh, normally lagging behind area uh, globally in terms of economy, especially GDP per capita. So uh, we have a lot of uh, problems, as our founder said, on uh, issues of uh, psychological problems associated with social economic hardships. And uh, we can together tackle some uh, some problems, uh, I think, yeah. So uh, that is that is true. So try to see how we can open up officially a partnership. And uh, Dr. Buheji, the founder of CIAS, is, uh, is also uh, eager to, to, to help us on that area. Uh, we have different partnerships already with other NGOs. We have like uh, 11 partnership in Rwanda and uh, one partnership in Kenya in another social economic area. Uh, so uh, that, that will be in addition to our entire community of CS partnership uh, areas. So, um, and then uh, for me, uh, I can say that we, we can officially open this and uh, start to operating as, uh, as partners in different area. And uh, trauma resilience is one of the good area we should explore as CS also, uh, and including other, other area of social economy, uh, but in link with family, family trauma and family psychological issues and divorce things as, uh, as, as uh, our founder said, and also different areas uh, of collaboration, which can be, uh, uh, of course, uh, something crucial for our societies in the East African community. We can also organize a workshop and the video, video, video uh, courses, virtual courses um, or video conferences that you can share. We have uh, social or media links that we can uh, link you and see uh, in the future about our workshop and round tables. We do trainings regularly every week, even though we are not uh, um, having academic. Uh... Welcome back, uh, Dr. Mshaw. Thank you, thank you. I got ejected. I'm wondering what's happening. <laughs> oh, sorry, we gave you a wrong. Uh, Link, but uh, we provided the CS link so so that it is sustainable to not uh, be cut. Uh, yeah, before we, we started as uh, just informal, but to make it official, thanks to, to our founder who said let's open uh, an official link with, uh, with CS, CS link. And we, we really thank him yeah, for that. So uh, welcome back, Mshauri. I like your name. Yeah, Mshauri means advisor, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, okay. And I like what you can do. Yeah. <laughs> we can, it means uh, uh, oh. people be happy. Uh, right? Okay, Manuel, I think uh, we need to, uh, agenda yes. for saving uh, time for us and for them. Yes. I yes. think uh, this is a working hour so for them. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Brother Moffat and uh, Brother James, we are ready. Can you close your mic, uh, Emmanuel, since you are on the same floor? That making sound, same. So uh, I think we are ready uh, to sign the MOU and we are actually excited about that. Uh, you can propose uh, after, will you, I think uh, Bonnie will send you or Dr. Emmanuel will send you our MOU. It have like a proposed list. You can change on it whatever you think we can add to it. And we'll add also whatever we mentioned now. I, I mentioned to you in the meeting and also Emmanuel mentioned. Whatever in your mind, whatever you think we can help you in, 
we are willing to do that. It's all win-win, uh, you know, approach. And we believe that we uh, always our slogan, alone we are weak, together we are strong. We believe in working with other partners and we believe that we can grow with them. Uh, and we believe that uh, you guys in Kenya especially can help us a lot. Besides, we are helping you also to be present in Kigali or other countries that we're going to be in, working in. Because we are also, you know, academic. We are focusing on academic side. Uh, the potential for us in the future will be very high because once we start our program, we have one of the modules is about psychology, but psychology from inspiration point of view, which is maybe will be interesting. Uh, and I have, by the way, some of these already uploaded in the in our YouTube and so on. Our website may be interesting for you to to see now even before, so to give you ideas, it is www.cs.rw. So may, it might help you to know what we are doing. And there is another one, which is inspirationeconomy.org. One word, inspirationeconomy.org. I think also it will give you some ideas what we are doing, what we are doing around the world, and so on. Okay, that one is the bigger one, the bigger umbrella of, uh, you know, the International Inspiration Economy Project, we call it, IIAB. Uh, but again, uh, thank you very much for, uh, for all of you who managed to bring us all together here, and I believe uh, this is a good start. And think about what Dr. Dunya said, even for us, me and Dunya, we might come to Kenya only, uh, just to visit and see also, if we couldn't arrange something during the forum, either before or after, we can come and see how what are the possibilities we can do in Kenya, whether relevant to projects, whether to workshops and so on. Because also we have something that can add value to your work. And we are, we are using uh, psychology to solve socioeconomic problems. Poverty, so one of our programs is about poverty elimination, women development, not women empowerment, women development, which is totally different approach. And we put national plans for government, like Bahrain, for women development and so on. Uh, so these are all concepts that is sometime, somehow they are new. And even poverty elimination, as you know, that SDGs, they mention about them, but they don't know the techniques or they talk always about money. And money doesn't help in poverty elimination because this is a complex problem. And we work on complexity. We, we Our job, my background, or your background, uh, this multidisciplinary approach that we use, including people like you and so on, it helps us to solve complex problems, which is uh, cannot be solved by money or by, uh, by government usually. Yeah. So that's also something that is uh, maybe interesting. But let us start one step at a time. Whatever you believe we can do together now, before the forum, also let us start, let's try it with a workshop, whether it is a Zoom, whether it is a, whatever you believe that a paper, we are open to all of these, uh, you know, things, inshallah. Okay, and we consider us, we are your base in uh, Kigali. If you have, you get a training, you want us to arrange for you something and we can help you on that, also we are really willing to do that. Okay. Any comments from your side, guys, before we close it? Okay, thank you. Let uh, me to say something before I ask. I want to confirm to you, we can arrange a forum for you. Uh, we can always work with what you need. You just need to let us know uh, your thoughts, especially when it comes to Kenya and generally Nairobi. And then, because uh, these these are our residents, both of us, we will be able, you know, to uh, to help you in anything that you feel we can do together. Uh, then, in working together for a workshop or anything, maybe in a near future, we will try to do an online workshop, something so that we get to see how it goes, and then we see the response of Kigali people and probably other people from other countries can join. The the, the, the the online conference. And then from there, once Dr. Imano comes to Nairobi, he will be able to engage now in a very formal way and probably will have to you know to exchange notes in different areas. Uh, and I think for me, I see a lot of uh, you know very promising future as far as we can solve economic issues and then also support people who are being through psychology that will be an achievement and that will be a good legacy. Uh, let me ask Mushauri to say something before we end the meeting. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, James. And I also want to appreciate uh, this particular initiative. It is indeed uh, amazing, just like I have said. Um, I was trying to look at um, your website because uh, I need to uh, really understand the, uh, you know, your concept. But from what I'm hearing, although I have missed quite a chunk um, of, of, of what I needed to hear because of uh, technological challenges, I think we are on a very, uh, you know, promising trajectory. And I think uh, it is doable. We can always uh, come together and see what it is that we, uh, which areas we can partner in. Um, I, we all, I, I don't know whether um, somebody said that you're going to send us some write-ups so that we can really um, get to understand uh, properly. Uh, you know, for James, he has met uh, Emmanuel once. Uh, for me, this is a completely new, but I must say that I love the concept. I like uh, what you people are doing. And I was just asking myself, probably, I can ask this question. Um, what factors do you consider to have, um, to have, to set your camp in a, in a, in a, in a particular country? Because I am hearing what you are saying and um, I think there's something that we even need in Kenya. What, what I'm hearing you people doing, because uh, you realize that um, you are talking about innovations. And, we, and I think we are having a very big challenge, even as an African, this I would say uh, an African, in, in an African context, where people have been taken to school and all they think is how they can be employed, and uh, the whole challenge of innovation, I think it, it's an area that even here locally, we have got people who can actually be beneficiaries of what you are doing. Because if there is a way uh, people can be taken out of um, the traditional understanding of education, uh, this can really help so many people and actually make so many people uh, overcome the challenge of poverty. Yesterday I was speaking somewhere in the rural Kenya and uh, this is the same thing I was saying, probably using different words, uh, but, but from what I have heard, the, the, the few remarks I have heard from you, I think uh, it is the whole question of mental shift, you know, the shift of mindset so that people can now begin to look at themselves as their own resources and um, how can they be able to exploit what they carry, you know, to, to bring a solution somewhere. And when solutions come, I want to believe money comes. When solutions come, uh, you know, jobs come. So I, I, I think from where I see this is a concept that I would really admire if, if I, I don't know, I know someone is going to answer that question. I don't know, um, I, I don't know what uh, criteria you use to settle in a, in a particular country. Um, and, 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 and perhaps other than what we are offering as a psychologist professionals, I think there is also something I'm loving about what you are doing. And, and, and I think we can collaborate and see whether is it possible even for you to extend your wings to Kenya, to Nairobi. Back to you. Okay, thanks a lot, uh, Dr. Moffat. Yeah, I mean, this is. A, I'm very glad in, a, in in short time you got uh, to use certain words, as you mentioned. Uh, that is uh, similar to uh, what we say. Can you can you lower down your uh, the, the sound, Isa? So uh, because what you mentioned, for example, you mentioned about unemployment. You mentioned about uh, complex problems or socioeconomic problems. You mentioned about youth, which is after graduation. Many of them on this status that we are talking about. Africa now is the largest in need. Need is a problem all over the world. Okay, and I have I have written books about youth economy, uh, and about now seven years ago that we brought this concept, and we spoke about one chapter about need. 
Now, this is a, a big problem in Africa, all over the world, but Africa will be a big problem because it, uh, you are in development stage now. Okay. Now, I know that Kenya is, again, developing country like South Africa, but still, uh, you have challenges because the number of people are a lot and, uh, you know, the number of universities, uh, graduates are a lot. So this is something that's very interesting that we work with and we cannot do it without you. Not only we want to do something in Kenya, we cannot do it with people uh, without uh, you who will add value to the concept because this is a developing concept, you know. It's brought by one person. But okay, I have uh, collaborators uh, from all over the world who participate in my in our papers and our in our uh, you know curriculum programs? Okay, which is interesting. I will send you, uh, Doctor. I'll get now the, your email from uh, you and James. I will send you our validation for you know to let you let uh, see how our program are made because all the people that we had, I, I think about more than forty five people who filled our validation pro, uh, form for our programs, which we need also because for the heck or any higher education. They want to see that there are, because it's multidisciplinary, they want to see people, experts like you, who filled this, uh, this form. The feedback I got from these people, okay, yeah, and if recommendation or any recommendation, we are, you are welcome, but that we learn something new, okay? Now, not I'm claiming that because we put it, but I think you know, it might add value for, for both of us, and we'll know each other more about this. The second word you use is about mindset. And if you notice, maybe if you Google mindset and me, you find that uh, we talk because you know this is the challenging part of the whole world. And yesterday I was seeing film about Japan or about you know Korea and how people are not getting married more and how people are uh, getting loneliness. The youth I'm talking about, okay? Mm. They they don't believe in, in in marriage or and for that it's, you know they're coming down even in China now, okay? This will come to this uh, continent. Like it started to come in our country. I have now my children over 30 years and they are not married. And you know, for us, it was strange that time. In my time, if a person above 25 is not married, it's a problem. Okay? I'm talking about boys and girls now. This is a problem. Because we are capital-based economy. And we are fighting this mindset of capital-based economy. And the mindset we've differentiated is that it's about four things, which is you are the expert again. It's about which I write a lot because I've gone deeper into these things about the perception or about you know the paradigm, uh, okay, and then about the attitudes, about the behaviors, and the reflections. Okay. These four things are what we are working on. But we believe, uh, Dr. James and Dr. Uh, Moffat, is that people do not change with lectures and they might change with counseling because we did the program to eliminate, you know, to. To reduce number of uh, divorces in Bahrain, we have a, a rate of divorces at one time 40 percent. So one of our projects with the Women Council in Bahrain was to uh, reduce the number of divorces. Dr. Denio was leading that on the on the floor. Yani. Okay, I was in you know, part of the national plan, but Dr. Denio did that uh, reality, yani. and we managed to do that. But because of changing the mindset, not because of counseling. Counseling was one of the things. We, for example, Bahrain, you cannot divorce. Now, if you go to a court, you cannot divorce directly. The court will tell you, go and do counseling. And this counseling stage, usually some time, it takes to, uh, three to six months, intentionally. So that, you know, the husband and wife, they might get together again. They remember about their good times, something like this. Okay. So there is a techniques on that we, are, we followed. So this reduced a lot compared to other Gulf countries. So people need that in everything. Let alone elimination of poverty. Let alone that this continent, which is the most richest continent, yesterday we were talking, talking with Dr. Dunya about the maps. He was telling me, see how the Europeans did the maps. I didn't, I, I didn't know that, by the way. I know that the maps is not accurate, but I didn't know that. In Africa, continent is much larger than the Americas and much larger than Europe, uh, Europe but they show all, all of Africa as if it is same size or less. Okay, let alone if you know about your 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 wealth. Even though here we focus on non-financial wealth uh, in solving problems, but which is the social asset, you know, the natural asset, the physical asset of the of the country or the community. But for sure, this content also will always have a wars, will always have uh, tensions. Okay, 
uh, because they want the they want to take care of, uh, for that is are uh, staying rich you know these countries in Europe and other countries. so even the Arabs you know they are playing here some games I think okay that's my opinion but what I wanted to say here is that really we need each other we need we have a lot of work to do we have uh, we need money of it we need money James and we need many Buhaji and we need many uh, Emmanuel and Dunya yani we need many of us because this is a, a something an area a niche that no body playing yani always psychology looked at psychology that's it but we are not doing multidisciplinary and we, all of us were feeling in that now even though we are doing multidisciplinary here we're calling for that but we are the lecturers but let, imagine that i am and with you Moffat or james okay and or emmanuel or dunya which is she comes also from different background dunya's social uh, scientist okay and so on. And many, I have people, lawyers, I have people, uh, you know, innovation expert, creativity. We can't solve complex problems unless we tackle it from a multi, uh, you know, multi uh, disciplinary, okay, a multi dimensional mm -hmm. and holistic point, uh, approach. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is where we solve problems really for community and make a legacy and bring outcome because the results is easy. You can say, I, I did many counseling around the world I, I tell you i did also many projects or many training around the world i brought many programs but but so what what is happening is different okay and this is where we need to tackle the reality inshallah and i believe as you said kenya needs that bahrain needs that our country and we have a society we have by the way and we have 17 societies now some of them are because we used to fund them we are stopping that after the COVID. said any society have to fund itself okay and we are we and we visited uh, more than 29 countries and just since, since 2015 so we have and we stayed in countries and even i'm willing to come to nairobi if it is safe i don't know if it's safe or not yet okay and sit there for a few months just to start projects and train people to start projects there okay through partners like you and so on. because we are well, at the end of the day this is what we uh this is our wealth frankly our wealth is not money our wealth is uh, you know, our expertise and how much we solve problems and so on. And over time, I think if you, if you have time and you Google, you say just list of, of projects done by any and Buhiji or inspiration, you'll find that we have done more than 600 projects just since 2015, trying to create models. Now, not, I can tell you more than 30% of them or 40% of them, they are failures. Okay. But at least now we are increasing our capacity to ensure it is sustainable. And failure means we have done the change, but the change was not sustained. Who, have, who can help us in doing the sustainability? It is the psychologists like you who have the expertise on doing, you know, in dealing with such people and so, because change, you know, management of change is the most difficult. Change management itself is not a problem, but management of change is the most difficult part. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'd like to thank you again for your interest. And uh, we have, uh, again, we have a lot of interest to learn from you. And we are very strong in citation, by the way, uh, Dr. Moffat. If you are publishing, we are, you know, uh, compared to others, uh, we're reaching 5,000 citations. And just since 2017, we started to, to publish. And highly cited. And our papers are all, always above 100 in very short time. Okay. Uh, for example, we have a resilience lab about Gaza. You know what's happening in Gaza and so on. We have uh, what we call Gaza resilience lab. Okay, we have uh, Africa Development Lab. So we have labs also, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Tracking problems through research, through projects, through sites, through dialogues, and so on, so that we bring it to the world and tell them that this can be solved and so on. Okay, and I invite you also to, to see our uh, uh, book, which is available free, by the way, in ResearchGate, Antap Solution mm -hmm. of COVID. Okay, and so COVID, mm -hmm. the Antap Solution called. Again, it's a... Uh, Two big books uh, that we brought, uh, which is, has been written by many people. So there are lots of areas for collaboration. Let us let us try one or two now. Let's not hesitate uh, just for the uh, do a movie and we forget about because all of us busy. Let us try to uh, start doing something in, in any of the areas we mentioned. And thanks a lot for your time. Mm -hmm. Long time of your time, but I hope that it will be a start for uh, a strong collaration. And we're excited to visit you also. And you visit us, please. Thank, Thank you. you. So, what is now the way forward from here? Or, uh, uh, Kizara is going to, to, to guide us. 
So now I, I think uh, I, you, I will get your email and I'm excited also to send you some things, the validation for the, from my side. Uh, Emmanuel uh, and, will, and Bonnie will send you now the MOU and also she will send, usually she sent with the MOU, she sent our uh, leaflets, you know, our briefs about us. So, so we give you like a summary what services we do, including consultancy. By the way, and you might be our consultant. Uh, if you find that there is a problem we can do together, we announce about it. And I am sure, see, especially here in, in uh, Africa and East Africa, I think more than uh, yani West Africa, people are closed. People are not open about their problems. But they need some, like some, some people who raise this, you know, cover from that. So they start talking mm. about their problems, about their, you know, challenges in life and so on. Okay. Uh, which is, again, you know, depends on the every society, how they look at it. But once it, we start it with even a few people, many people will come. Okay. And the good thing about, you know, Rwanda, there are lots of international NGOs. Okay, which is uh, we are still did not get any you know, sign with any one of them yet here. We have international jobs, but before we come from, to Rwanda. But this also, I think we can collaborate them. We, and you can bring them and tell them you can sponsor, you can attend so that we can attract. It might take us time to get paid workshops, frankly, but we can work on that. We from the first day, we should try that. Okay, this is our job and also you try to help us on that. Even if we use marketing agency at the, at the end of the day, okay. But uh, remember mm -hmm. also, now we have a long future together. When we start the academic program, that's something else. Yeah, and you'll be like part uh, part of our uh, staff who come and lecture and go, or you can do it over uh, you know, because we have blended learning program. You can do it over Zoom and so on. And by the way, even our website have e-learning, so yeah, e-learning uh, platform. Yani most of our uh, you know, uh, modules, we have more than 48 modules for the PhD and master. All of them has been, uh, uh, have papers, have uh, uh, podcast, have uh, videos, uh, you know, whatever module we're talking about, already they are ready, they're in the, in the inside the system there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a lot of things, inshallah, we can do together, and thanks a lot for your time. Unless uh, mm -hmm. we will start doing it from now. Okay, we'll send you now email and so on. Thank okay. you for your time. Okay, thank you. We thank highly you. appreciate it. Thanks a lot for okay, uh, thank the opportunity. Thank you, James. Thank you. Bye-bye.